Hello friends, and welcome back to Dr. Sema Zia's channel. Today, we're diving into the top 10 job interview questions and how to answer them smartly. The job interview process can feel like navigating a minefield of hidden expectations and subtle social cues. It can be incredibly stressful. You're under the microscope, scrutinized for your every word and gesture. But what if you could approach these questions strategically, armed with insights that could give you a significant edge? That's what we're going to explore today. And if you need personalized guidance, don't forget to check out my consultation services for tailored advice and strategies. You might be struggling with the first question, introduce yourself. This question is almost inevitable. It's often the very first one, and it's an opportunity for you to frame your entire narrative and first impression. Now, you might be tempted to dive into a chronological resume recitation, but I urge you to resist that. This isn't about listing every single thing you've ever done. It's about telling a compelling story. Think of it as presenting the highlights reel of your professional life, focusing on experiences and skills directly relevant to the job you're seeking. For example, you could say, I'm a highly motivated software engineer with five years of experience in developing user-centered applications. I'm passionate about using technology to solve complex problems and create seamless user experiences. Notice how this concisely conveys your expertise, experience, and enthusiasm. It sets the stage for a deeper dive into your qualifications. Remember, this initial response is crucial. It sets the tone for the entire interview. So craft your narrative carefully, highlight your key strengths, and leave them wanting to know more. What are your strengths? This question is an invitation to showcase your capabilities. But don't just throw out a laundry list of generic adjectives. Instead, focus on strengths that are demonstrably relevant to the role and backed by concrete examples. Before the interview, carefully review the job description and identify the key skills and qualities they're seeking. Then, select strengths that directly align with those requirements. For instance, if the job description emphasizes teamwork, you could say, one of my key strengths is my ability to collaborate effectively within a team. In my previous role, I played a pivotal role in a cross-functional project where we successfully launched a new product line ahead of schedule and under budget. By providing a specific anecdote, you're not just claiming a strength, you're demonstrating it. You're providing evidence that you possess the qualities they're looking for. Remember, concrete examples lend credibility to your claims. 3. What are your weaknesses? This is where many candidates stumble. Talking about weaknesses can feel deeply uncomfortable, but it's an opportunity to demonstrate self-awareness and a commitment to growth. The key here is to choose a weakness that you've been actively working to improve. Avoid trite responses like I'm a perfectionist or I work too hard. Instead, be honest and specific. For example, you could say, I've sometimes struggled with public speaking, particularly in large group settings. However, I've recently joined Toastmasters to improve my communication skills and become more comfortable presenting my ideas. Notice how this response acknowledges a weakness, but immediately pivots to actionable steps taken to address it. It shows that you're not afraid to confront your limitations and that you're actively seeking self-improvement. This kind of response demonstrates maturity, self-awareness, and a growth mindset, all qualities highly valued in a candidate. Four, where do you see yourself in five years? This question assesses your long-term vision and whether it aligns with the company's trajectory. It's not about predicting the future with absolute certainty. It's about articulating your aspirations and demonstrating that you've thought about your career path. Before the interview, research the company's growth plans, new initiatives, or areas of expansion. Then, when answering this question, connect your aspirations to their goals. For instance, you could say, in five years, I envision myself taking on a more senior role within a company that values innovation and continuous learning. I'm particularly excited about the work you're doing in, and I believe my skills and experience would allow me to contribute meaningfully to that growth. This response demonstrates that you've done your homework, that you're interested in their specific work, and that you see yourself as a potential long-term asset to their team. It shows ambition, alignment, and a genuine interest in their success. 5. Why should we hire you? This is your opportunity to make a compelling case for why you are the ideal candidate. Don't be afraid to be assertive and highlight your unique qualifications. This is not the time for modesty. Remember, 
you're competing against other talented individuals, so it's crucial to articulate what sets you apart. Start by reiterating your key strengths and how they align with the job requirements. Then, provide specific examples of how you've leveraged those strengths to achieve tangible results in the past. For instance, you could say, you should hire me because I possess a rare combination of technical expertise in a proven track record of successful project management and a deep understanding of your target market. In my previous role, I successfully implemented a new software system that streamlined operations and increased efficiency by 15%. By quantifying your achievements and showcasing your unique value proposition, you're providing a compelling argument for why you're the best person for the job. Remember, this is your chance to seal the deal. Be confident, be enthusiastic, and leave them with no doubt that you're the right choice. Six, why do you want to leave your current job? This question can be tricky as it requires you to address potentially sensitive information while maintaining a positive and professional demeanor. The key here is to avoid negativity. Never badmouth your current employer or colleagues. Instead, focus on your desire for growth, new challenges, or a better alignment with your career goals. For instance, you could say, while I've gained valuable experience at my current company, I'm seeking a role that offers greater opportunities for professional development and allows me to utilize my skills in, I'm eager to contribute my expertise to a company that values innovation and fosters a collaborative work environment. This response frames your departure as a positive step towards your career aspirations rather than an escape from a negative situation. It shows that you're ambitious, growth-oriented, and seeking a better fit for your skills and goals. Seven, what is your greatest achievement? This question is an invitation to showcase your capabilities and highlight a significant accomplishment that demonstrates your skills and work ethic. Choose an achievement that is relevant to the job you're applying for and reflects positively on your abilities. Don't be afraid to elaborate on the challenges you faced, the actions you took, and the positive outcomes you achieved. For example, you could say, one of my proudest achievements was leading a complex software development project that involved managing a team of 10 engineers and delivering a product ahead of schedule and under budget. It required strong communication problem solving and leadership skills, and I'm proud of the results we achieved together. By providing a detailed account of your accomplishment, you're not only showcasing your skills, but also demonstrating your ability to handle responsibility, overcome obstacles, and deliver exceptional results. This type of response provides tangible evidence of your capabilities and reinforces your value as a potential employee. Eight, how do you handle stress and pressure? In today's fast-paced work environment, the ability to handle stress and pressure is essential. When answering this question, provide specific examples of stressful situations you've encountered and the coping mechanisms you employed to manage the pressure effectively. Avoid generic responses like, I work well under pressure. Instead, be specific and provide concrete examples. For instance, you could say, in my previous role, I was responsible for managing multiple projects simultaneously with tight deadlines. To handle the pressure, I developed a system for prioritizing tasks, delegating effectively, and maintaining open communication with my team. I also found that regular exercise and mindfulness techniques helped me stay focused and manage stress levels. By outlining specific strategies and providing relatable examples, you demonstrate self-awareness, resilience, and a proactive approach to managing pressure. This type of response reassures the interviewer that you possess the necessary coping mechanisms to thrive in demanding work environments. And nine, how do you deal with conflict in the workplace? Conflict is inevitable in any workplace. This question assesses your ability to navigate interpersonal challenges constructively and maintain a positive and productive work environment. When answering this question, emphasize your commitment to open communication, active listening, and finding mutually beneficial solutions. Provide a specific example of a conflict you successfully resolved. For instance, you could say, in a previous team project, a disagreement arose regarding the direction of a particular feature. To address the conflict, I facilitated an open discussion where everyone had the opportunity to express their perspectives and concerns. Through active listening and collaborative problem solving, we were able to reach a compromise that satisfied the needs of all parties involved. By outlining your approach and providing a concrete example, 
you demonstrate your ability to handle conflict professionally, respectfully, and effectively. This type of response showcases your interpersonal skills and your commitment to maintaining a harmonious and productive work environment. 10. Do you have any questions for us? This is your opportunity to demonstrate genuine interest in the role, the company, and the team you'd be joining. It's a chance to gather valuable information and leave a lasting positive impression. Prepare thoughtful questions beforehand that demonstrate you've done your research and are genuinely curious to learn more. Avoid asking questions that could easily be answered through a simple Google search. Instead, focus on questions that delve deeper into the company culture, the team dynamics, or the specific challenges and opportunities associated with the role. For example, you could ask, what are some of the most exciting projects the team is currently working on? Or, what opportunities are there for professional development and growth within the company? These types of questions demonstrate your enthusiasm, your desire to contribute meaningfully, and your commitment to long-term growth within the organization. Thank you for watching, and I hope these tips help you nail your next job interview. Remember, preparation is key. Take the time to understand the role, research the company, and practice your answers. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more helpful content. Good luck on your interview.